Hello my dear friends, Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha. And today we're going to talk about the 1212 full moon. I want to break this up into a few different videos if you'll allow me. Because there's so much to cover. And um, I'm having a hard time making this one. And I didn't realize it was going to be like this. That's why it's so late. Uh, because we're talking about the throat chakra. And yesterday of course we were dealing with the heart chakra and doing meditations and my god when you open up the heart chakra things start to come out and you start to shine a light on things that you thought were hidden those things in the subconscious come to the conscious mind and then we go right in here talking about the throat chakra and i got so emotional uh because as a child that's something i struggled with that no one could hear my voice, uh, what I was feeling inside and trying to voice, they couldn't hear it. And I was so mad. I was so frustrated. I, I can't even describe the feeling I would get in my hands. And I try to tell people what they were making me feel by not hearing the words. I'm saying the feelings I'm having. But I don't know if it was just that time, but they would always talk over me. They would always shut me down uh, like children are to be seen and not heard. And, and I'd go to talk and it's almost like that's just a child, you know, and they wouldn't listen and they couldn't hear. And, they, and I always felt like I was being talked over, stop, shut down. And my friends, it, it doesn't change that much as you get older, really. You still find that happening people talking over you or you're in a conversation and they're already thinking about what they're going to say next and not even thinking about what you're saying there's then there's no connection and oh i didn't realize how much that uh, that was still in me and uh, the best way i can describe it is the scream inside of me and i could see myself acting out over the years uh, through violence or turning into sickness or depression or it, it just not healthy ways because I couldn't get my voice out and and as I was putting this message together I started thinking my god you guys are the blessing to me I get all messages all the time oh thank you Megas for this message of the Magi it's blessed me you guys gave me a place that I could be heard and I can't put a price on that my friends it's health to my spirit and I'm so thankful for you guys and that's what this time, these energies right now, this full moon coming, is the throat chakra and being heard, speaking up, showing what's inside of us. And I started thinking about it. That can be scary, even for me, right? Uh, I present myself here as the magus, but the magus is what I do as a, as a Zoroastrian priest. It's spreading the message of Zarathustra, but it's not who I am. And, and we do try to cover up who we are don't we because we were afraid people might not like us so we show ourselves on on video during the best times when we're in the best moods and saying the best things or on our instagram right uh in the best places the best scenarios uh, the my beautiful oh this breaks my heart i have the most wonderful beautiful female women followers and it's okay i understand but they are using filters all the time on their face my god you are so beautiful i've seen your other pictures without it you don't need those filters you don't need to make yourself up your face or your body or, or who you are inside different than what you are you are perfect you are amazing and that's the person i've fallen in love with my wonderful friends and i think how sad for you th that you have to uh put a, a face or a body in a situation or a scenario that's not who you are with a smile that's not what's in your heart because you want those likes and and you look at that at night and that that ego that that person you created is getting all these likes and love uh, but what about you what about who you are on the inside? How about how you truly look? And I get it, my friends. I get that with the Megas. I, I'm scared to share all my stories with you guys. My broken heart. I pull this card all the time. The three of hearts inverted. Because spirits always tell me, just let those swords fall out. Let those hurts fall out. And, and my friends, but we hold on to it. And I love it because the card inverted like just the weight of the swords would fall out if you had let it but we're holding on to those things because i've been hurt 
so many times. I've been wronged so many times and, and, and I hold on to it. And, and, and that's why, my friends, I know your broken hearts. And, and, and you think, wow, Magus, how does he know exactly what I'm feeling? Because I'm feeling it, because I've gone through it, and, and because I still have things that I haven't healed up yet. And as we're doing those heart chakra meditations yesterday, I was still seeing hurts inside. And then here comes a 1212 full moon and talking about the, the throat chakra and all that frustration came up that I felt as a child that's still there that my God, why can't they hear me? Why can't they hear that, that God is all good and that we shouldn't kill and eat animals and, and then that it's wrong and we need to stop the wars and the weapons and, and stop poisoning the earth, poisoning the animals. Why can't they hear us? And I still get that same frustration but my god i'll tell you what's happening awakening is happening other people that feel their voice has been held down and, and they're realizing you know what i'm enough just how i am and i'm going to speak up anyway and, and if you try to speak over me i'm going to speak louder and i'm going to speak in power and in truth because my friends we have the truth and everybody inside when they hear the truth they might not want to accept it but they'll know it's true when you say god is the highest principle of good he don't hate war kill get angry get jealous destroy he's good spirit that killing animals is wrong because they have a heart and a soul and it's cruel and it's mean and my friends if they can't sit there and watch it be done they shouldn't be doing it if you can't sit there and watch a, a war and watching what really happens the tragedy then you shouldn't be doing it if you can't go to a slaughterhouse and watch him kill your pig for your bacon you shouldn't be doing it if you can't watch him kill the baby cow for your veal. You shouldn't be doing it, my friends. You're just paying someone else to kill for you. Inside, you know it's wrong. We've been lied to, my friends, and it's time that we stand up and start speaking the truth with our throat chakras. I know we've been beaten down, told we, our opinion doesn't matter. It does matter. And as more of us come together and we're vibrating this truth together, it is changing things. You can see it. My God, look from 2012 to right now. It looks like a different world and i'm telling you from 2020 on it's gonna blow your mind but you gotta start speaking up you have a voice to be heard you have a face to be shown a body to be shown it don't have to look like how they show in the magazine show who you are and be proud then you're gonna build up some other girl that doesn't feel pretty that doesn't feel like she has a voice show her what beauty is show her what strength is I knew this was going to be a hard one to get through. My friends, I might have to stop there if I don't pull it together. I apologize. I needed a moment. My friends, for this next move from 2020 on, we're going to need to be our authentic selves. You are beautiful and you are perfect just the way you are. And I want you to start vibrating that and speaking that out, speaking your truth. Let yourself be heard. Let's not be frustrated anymore. Let's stand up and speak for the all good spirit. Let's restore his image that he's been lied in the matrix religions. They're lied about. He doesn't hate war, kill, destroy. You've been lied about about who you are. You're not a dirty, filthy sinner. You are a beautiful child of God, and you came here to raise the evolution of this earth. You know you would overcome the things passed in your very DNA from your parents and grandparents, uh, anger and fear and jealousy and, and addictions, and you knew you could overcome that because we're going inside now, and we're finding that divine spark, and we're living out of our heart center, and we're creating out of our heart center, and it looks different than what the world told us we should be doing and it was scary at first wasn't it remember when you started going against what maybe your parents or your church had taught you and you started hearing from that voice inside they told you don't do that you might get deceived and hear from a devil but you realize no this voice is only speaking love and kindness and truth and you started to realize they're the ones that are deceived speaking of a god that is hateful and evil and sends evil and puts cancer and sickness and disease on people that's a lie my friends in truth you are perfect spirit you come from perfect spirit you are made of perfect spirit and one day we're going to return back to 
perfect spirit. But before we do that, we're going to raise the evolution of this world. By the time we leave, people are going to think it's ridiculous that there was ever a time that people thought that God, the highest principle of good, could get angry, jealous, hate, war, kill, destroy. They, they can't even believe that the people believe those ridiculous stories. That you are that you are a dirty sinner that God couldn't even stand to be around. They'll think, how could anyone believe that? Because you are so beautiful and you are so honored, my friends. We need to start honoring the God in each other, the good in each other, the God good in the animals, the God good in the earth. We need to start having eyes in the heart to see spirit to spirit, see the light in people and, and draw that out. Don't look uh, at their sin or, uh, or the lion illusion. I always think about what Esther Hicks said that when Jesus healed, he didn't look at them dripping with disease. He looked in and saw the truth there, their health, their divine health. And truth, they're made after the Creator. They are divine life and divine health. And, and He didn't see their sickness. And, and it brought that health out in them. My friends, let's start bringing the health and truth out. And let's use our voice during this time. I'd like to end this with a reading from Asha 12. It says, There is nothing for me outside. I have spent too long looking outside of myself, looking for meaning, purpose, affirmation, approval, love, truth, happiness, and God, just to find myself ever searching. So I quiet all the many thoughts and ideas and stories. I go inside, and there I see the Christ. And I realize there is no separation from my good, my God, for we are one. All the truth and happiness I was looking for is here now. I am that I am. And now that I know this, it is good is. God is. My friends, I love you so much. We'll see you next time.